Hey, quick check. Is there something mildly psychoactive sitting in your kitchen right now? No, not in your medicine cabinet, not in some sketchy drawer, not ordered from the shady side of the internet. In your spice rack, I'm talking about nutmeg. Sure, it's great in cookies, but behind that cozy aroma lies a wild, world-shaping story. Before we dive into brain chemistry, let's take a detour into history. Because this humble spice didn't just spark wars, it literally helped build cities. The Spicy Backstory In the 1600s, nutmeg was so valuable it was traded ounce for ounce with gold. The Dutch were obsessed with controlling the global nutmeg trade, which, at the time, only came from a few tiny islands in Indonesia, especially one called Run. So in 1667, they struck a deal with the British. The Dutch got Run, the nutmeg gold mine, and the British got a swampy, overlooked island off the coast of the New World. That island? You might have heard of it. Manhattan. Yep, nutmeg literally helped shape the future of New York City. And today, you can get it for three bucks at the grocery store. Wild. But nutmeg isn't just historically spicy, it's chemically spicy too. Let's zoom in from the 1600s to your liver and see what this stuff is doing inside you. Nutmeg contains a few naturally occurring compounds that are chemically similar to psychoactive substances. Meristocin, elemicin, sifrol, and a dash of methyl eugenol. Individually, these compounds aren't particularly strong. But when you eat nutmeg, your liver kicks into biochemist mode, transforming those base molecules into entirely new ones. Here's what they might turn into. Myristocin can metabolize into 3-methoxy-4.5-methylene-eoxyamphetamine, MMDA, a compound chemically related to MDMA. Think of it as MDMA's shy cousin. It might offer a little euphoria and some sensory shifts, but it's more of a mellow poet than a dance floor maniac. Elemicin may convert into trimethoxyamphetamine, TMA, a group of compounds structurally related to mescaline. Some versions of TMA can cause light hallucinations, altered thinking, and a sense of dreamy detachment like you're in a mildly weird indie film directed by your liver. To be clear, these aren't recreational drugs in the traditional sense. They're unpredictable, slow, and subtle. More background weirdness than full-on trip. What you might feel if you take enough. So, what happens if you consume around 5 to 15 grams of ground nutmeg? After 3 to 6 hours, yeah, it's a slow burn. Possible effects might include a light buzz or floating sensation. Distorted time. Think, how long have I been blinking? Heavy, sluggish body. Drowsiness. Minor visual or audio distortions. A bizarre looping inner monologue, like your thoughts are bouncing around an echo chamber made of molasses. But here's the catch. Nutmeg trips are famously muddy. They're not crisp or colorful like LSD, more like trying to remember a dream while underwater. For some, it's mildly interesting. For others, it's 12 hours of, why did I do this to myself? What about nutmeg oil? Nutmeg oil, and its sibling mace oil, is a concentrated extract stripped of most of the inactive plant matter. Some adventurous folks use it in extremely small doses or through aromatherapy. If you're going to experiment, do not exceed one milliliter. Reported effects include clearer thoughts, slight mood lift, calm, cozy relaxation. Basically, it's like microdosing the spice cabinet, but we mean micro, drops, not shots. It's nutmeg, not tequila. Side effects, AKA the nutmeg hangover. Warning, never redose before at least six hours have passed. Since nutmeg takes so long to kick in, it's dangerously easy to overdo it, and the hangover is no joke. Too much nutmeg can hit you with the kind of regret typically reserved for gas station sushi. Here's what you might face. Nausea, dry mouth, brain fog, fast heart rate, 
anxiety or paranoia, a long, slow come down that can stretch up to 24 hours. Not because it's powerful, but because it's slow and your body's just not equipped to handle that many Frankenstein molecules all at once. If you overdid it, hydrate like you're training for a marathon. Eat something fatty, it might slow absorption. Get comfy, dim the lights, and chill. Avoid caffeine and alcohol, they can only make things worse. And no, calling the ER to say, I overdid it with the baking spices, will not be your finest moment. Nutmeg isn't a drug, but it is technically psychoactive. It's legal, odd, and inconsistent. Mellow, one day. Nauseating, the next. Safe in small doses, but not to be taken lightly. So who's it for? The curious spice rack scientist thinking, is this an experiment? Nutmeg won't launch you into space, but it might make Earth feel a little weirder. Still, maybe just bake cookies.